Beats, a local company, used to produce their products in China, but when the owner was faced with laying off an employee who needed health insurance to fight cancer, he says the light bulb went off. There you go. That's when Global Greenlighting decided to move production to Chattanooga and keep employees on the payroll. News Channel 9's Latricia Thomas takes us inside their growing facility. The next time you're downtown after dark, you'll see a lot more of Chattanooga thanks to global green lighting. And those lights are going into the downtown uh, area, the central business district, and we're also putting them on um, some of the high crime areas and some of the main arterials leading out of the city. These low energy LED street lights will save the city big bucks and help police take a closer look at crime with just a tap of their laptop. If there's a problem out here, we can bring the lights up to 100% and we can, we can see people. Inside the company's factory, Sandy Brown is one of 40 employees assembling, drilling, and wiring the smart street lights. She got a pink slip from this factory's previous tenant, a different company that moved its jobs overseas. Well, they sold out and moved it to Mexico. But a few years later, she's on the payroll at Global Green, who did just the opposite, bringing their production from China to the scenic city. It was kind of like an answer to a prayer. She's in charge of wire harnesses that connect the power supply and surge protector in a base of the lights to the unique radio transmitter on top. And we also came up with a, um, a smart grid technology that measures energy consumption and we put it into the light and now we have one of the first lights in the world that has a utility certified meter inside every light so that we can actually measure the energy savings. The 36 LED bulbs are mounted to the light and set on top of a reflector to boost brightness making a computer-controlled light that controls the city's energy costs at the same time. We can save up to an hour to an hour and a half worth of energy citywide on all the lights just by turning the lights on and off earlier. All by flipping the switch on an assembly line closer to home. We're not going to be sending jobs to China. We're going to bring them back to the USA. For Made in Chattanooga, I'm Latricia Thomas. And Leopard says their product wouldn't be possible with the, without the EPB Smart Grid and a partnership with the city of Chattanooga. Global Green Lighting also supplied street lights to the University of Alabama, where they flash as a warning system for severe weather. Next week on Made In, we go to Cleveland and take you inside the M&M Mars plant. Yum. We'll show you how the chocolate-covered favorites are made next Friday on News Channel 9 at 6.